Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Python commonly asked coding interview questions, we have been discussing about uh, you know, a few popular questions that is asked in recent time for tracking uh, Python coding interviews, right? So in that series, today let's see about how to find frequent elements in a list. So uh, in order to explain this uh, problem, I have uh, given an example of a list called list one, which has few uh, integer elements in it. So 54, 33, uh, so it has sequence of elements here. And we want to find most free, most times uh, the element is repeated. For example, if you look at this example, um, 54 is repeated three times. So basically this is what we are intending to try. So 33 is repeated two times and 43 once, 12 two times and there's a one as well, which is displayed one times. So our ultimate aim is to find 54, which is actually, which is uh, repeated most number of times, all right? So in order to find the frequent element in a list, we have like a lot of approaches. You can use any, uh, there, there is like a few popular methods like using min and max, um, you know, you can use set uh, function. Uh, you know, there are quite a lot of approaches, but uh, you know, I would I will explain three different ways on how you can find the frequent element in a list these are with these three are very popular ones so um, first one is using mode function in, in collections uh, in sorry in statistics module second one is using um, counter function in counter function in collections module third one is the traditional just a traditional approach um, using counter uh, using count function okay so uh, so these three are most popular and you know from the implementation wise also it's very simpler to use so let's see how we can solve the uh, how we can solve this problem using these three different methods. First, we will start with the uh, mode function in a statistics module, right? So, in order to do this, <clears throat> I'm gonna input the the statistics module from statistics input mode. And uh, we have our list called list one here. So first we will print the original list. Print for better readability in the console. I'll just print this original list. Original list is list one. And so maybe I will. I have a variable called rec result called mode of list a list one so finally i will print this print element with highest frequencies highest frequency is obviously our result variable I am calling that result variable so let me run and show this <coughs> yeah as simple as that so in this list if you see 54 is the uh, element which is repeated most number of times and we found that very easily using a mode function in the uh, statistics module right so let me change this list uh, for example let me have 33 two more times and let's see if this is finding another list as well so yeah yeah if, if you look at this example 33 is listed more number of times which is four times so it is finding the element with the highest frequency okay so this is how you can find a um, most you know most frequent element in a list using mode function so this time let's uh, see another uh, option as we discussed earlier which is to use counter function in the collections module okay so 
here instead of statistics i'm changing it to collections um, and from from count methods right so i imported that so our list remains same <coughs> so i'm again printing the original list uh, with list one so this time i'm removing this mode implementation and this time let's use a method called counter right so we want to use a method called counter so, so we want to find the number of occurrences right so occurrence count equal to so our method is counter so in, in inside the counter i'm passing our original list which is list one and after that i need to print the number of occurrences right so result equal to occurrence count dot i have to find there is a uh, in, inbuilt method called most common method here so most common will uh, um, print or fetch the mo the element which is displayed most times okay so in this example 33 is displayed most times so it will print 33 so most common one i will explain this parameter in detail and we have to pass the index variables as well let me explain this at the last so that you will have a better understanding for now i'll try to keep it very simple okay so now let me run and show this it found 33 okay so this is an alternate way of finding more uh, more you know, frequent element in a list right so let me remove these two uh, parameters because I just want to make you understand how this is actually working. Let me remove the one as well. So, so if I run and if I run this, you can see the element with the highest frequency is displaying the entire list as well. Okay, so it is giving the actual value and it's displaying the number of occurrences as well. So 33 is displayed four times, 54 is present three times. 12 is present two times basically it has the actual value and its number of occurrences but i do not want all the occurrences i want the top one so i'm just giving the first occurrence so the first occurrence is 33 and 4 if i give 2 it will give next two occurrences first two occurrences 54 and 3 if i give 3 it will give me next three occurrences okay so this is how you can use this most common method to fetch the actual value you need but in this situation i'm just looking for the frequency highest frequency element only so i'm so i'm just giving one <coughs> so even in one if you look at this it's displaying both the value and the number of frequency but whereas i'm just looking for the actual value only so here i'm just giving index value a parameter so 0 and 0 this will display 33 only because 33 is the most uh, frequent element in, in in case if i want the number of occurrences then i will give one so the number of occurrences displayed here four for if if i change this it will go out of index i guess yeah it, it's it, it will it goes index out of range so which is not uh, the valid one so here uh, since i want the num uh, highest frequency element then i'm just passing the index as 00, zero. <clears throat> now it is displaying 33 okay, so this is how you can use the uh, inbuilt counter function from the collection module to find the uh, most frequent element in a list okay now we have discussed the second approach as well finally coming to the last approach which is like it is like a traditional approach uh, to find uh, uh, the most frequent element in a list you know but the reason i am giving these three examples is because the first two example is more of using an inbuilt function uh, it's an implementation using inbuilt function right but you know at times interviewer will be uh, you know will will not be interested in uh, using an inbuilt function at times he or she specifically asks not to use an inbuilt function and give you a solution so in that kind of situation you can use this particular third approach to provide a answer to them okay so let me <coughs> stop
start with that approach. So, so, so uh, you know, in previous steps, I have not defined a function, but for now, for a clean and complete code, I'm just defining a function. So, I'm let's have most frequent. And so here I am, I'm having my same list. And then, so this time, um, I want I want to use a traditional for loop to actually um, um, go over each and every element in the list and find, take the actual count value. Alright, so in order to do that, let me declare a counter variable as zero, just a count variable as zero, and um, I'm gonna take another value num equal to list one. So the list one of zero. I'm I'm just taking the zeroth index value like the first value in order to use it for some comparison okay so so this is this is one of the way how i can uh, use uh, this is another way uh, which we can use here and going on moving on uh, so i'm just gonna use the for loop for i in list one So I wanted to find the count, uh, okay, so the, the number of occurrences, the count, actual count, right? So I am just using the list dot count method. So this is list to one, right? So list to one dot count method. So here the count will be my actual value from i, the iterator i and for uh, for using it further I'm just assigning it to a variable say I will call it as current frequency current frequency is equal to list dot count following um, I will have an if condition saying if the current frequency value is greater than counter I am gonna assign that counter value to current frequency and finally, I'll assign a num value equal to i. Don't worry, let me explain this in detail so that you will have a clear understanding. And finally, I'll return my num value. <coughs> Print most frequent hint, right? So what I have done here is uh, so I have taken a uh, I have initialized my counter equal to zero, and I have taken the num value as list the first index the zeroth index value actually. So in this in this example it is fifty four, and I have assigned it assigned uh, num equal to fifty four in the uh, first in this step. So what I am doing in this for loop is I am using a traditional iterator to go through each and every element in this list, and then. Uh, I am assigning the actual count value to my uh, variable called current underscore frequency. So, so list one dot count will actually group and take all the values present most number of times. Like uh, not most number of times, it will take the number of occurrences. For example, year fifty four is present two three times. So thirty three is present four times. So basically, it will take the count of each and every elements and assign it to current frequency so if the current frequency is greater than counter so so in in our if when whenever it goes through the loop right so it will first current frequency value will be so so it will start from 54 33 43 right so 54 is present four times so in this in this step 54 to four times so 54 will be four times right so um, now it will come here and check if the current frequency uh, is greater than counter or not so the current frequency is four right so obviously four is greater than counter our counter value is zero so in this situation what it will do is it is satisfying the condition it will go into my loop 
say counter equal to frequency it will go into my loop here and so what is the counter variable initially we assigned it to uh, zero right now it, now the counter value will be the current value so four will be the counter value and finally the num will be so what is the num value there so num will be the actual i value so what is i value here i value is 54 so in this situation it will come here and take and keep the value called 54 and now the uh, it will return the num value and it will present 54 will be present here now it will come to the second uh, next uh, next iteration of the loop so in the next iteration it will come here it will take 33 so 33 is present three times uh, so sorry four sorry 54 is present okay sorry i was wrong 54 was present three times so the value it will be 3 and uh, it will be 3 so it will come to the next loop where else in the next loop that 3 will be present four times so now again in the similar way it will go into this loop now the counter value will be 3 so obviously 4 is greater than 3 so it will enter into this loop and replace um, 54 with 33 so num value will now be 33 because the number of occurrences of 33 is more than 54 so it will uh, next move on to next element 43 so 43 is just present one time so it will not go into the loop, uh, if loop again 54 it's already checked 12 it's present two times again it will not go into this loop because 33 is present four times whereas 12 is present only two times so so this way you can actually uh, easily find the most frequent element in a list using a traditional for loop okay so let me run and show this yeah, 33 is present most number of times right so in, in case if you want to test it better i'm just saying i'm adding 54 two more times now it will be 54 right so this is how you can um, easily find the most frequent element in a list in case if you think this is little confusing and if you want to understand it better what i would do is i would generally suggest you to place a debug pointer here on all, each and every element in the list in the for loop and try to understand what's happening in each iteration so if you if you if you keep following the actual value that is getting passed in each iteration you will have a better understanding uh, of how this uh, for uh, how this operation actually works okay so you can just debug it place a debug pointer on all these areas and click on step into so now once i click on step into uh, it it is throwing it is showing each and every uh, values in it so actual list value it is showing the counter value and the num value is it is taken as 54 right so uh, now uh, now it it comes into for loop the i is 54 and the current frequency value is 5 because 54 is present 5 times i guess uh, and now i'm going to check the current frequency is 5 times so it entered into the loop and it returned the num value so similarly the first iteration is done in the second iteration it comes to 33 33 is present four times so obviously four is not greater than five so it will not go into this loop similarly other values are not more than uh, you know, the occurrences is not more than five times so it is it will not go into this if condition at all it will exit uh, once it iterates through each and every element okay so this is how you can easily find uh, um, you know, most frequent element in a list uh, using a traditional for loop and using an inbuilt count uh, count method okay so um, i hope you uh, Anna understood how to find most frequent element in a list using these three different approaches in case if you have any queries please post it into the comment section in even if you find out any interesting solution or any better solution than this you can let me know in the comment section we will try to address it okay nice speaking with you friends in case if you like my channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you.